Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are doing a test vlog on the Sony a7 III. Now the reason I emphasize test is because this is my first vlog that I'm doing with the Sony a7 III, and I wanted to see how this goes without the flip screen, if I'm in frame for the whole video. I've actually already done this whole vlog, and I filmed an intro for it, and it turns out the whole video, including the intro, was way overexposed that's my bad just trying to learn the camera that's why i say test so the whole vlog is pretty much watchable the intro was so blown out fix it this time you gotta learn your camera give it some test vlogs to actually learn your camera so enough of me blabbering hope you guys enjoy the test vlog of the sony a7 III. and uh, i think first off we are going to target so let's get into the video <laughs> I'm glad I uh, checked my camera and turned it on before I left because uh, I almost went vlogging without a battery. Battery's pretty important. And we are at Target now, and uh, it's time to mask up and go in. Corona life 2021. It's not any better yet, but it is what it is. You know, in here I do feel a little bit awkward because if you see my setup here, I'll show you in a second, but my setup is a little bit big for just walking around in the store. And everybody I walk by is like staring at me like I'm completely nuts. And while it's true, it's kind of awkward still. Like I'm noticing all the employees now because it's like making me nervous with this here. I'll take a picture on my phone and then I'll post it in the video. That's the big setup I have. Uh, it looks a little bit ridiculous, but um, I mean, look at the quality. It's so good, right? But now I guess I'm supposed to make my way to the hair stuff. I don't know. You know, I take that back. I think uh, all the employees are used to blog life because they just look at me and just like, hey, just another one of you people. So uh, strangely chill for the setup. Okay. Hmm. Yes, please. <laughs> Oh, by the way, these are really good. Okay, we're gonna do some slow-mo loop for the A7 III test, so let's do that. Test subject, thank you. Okay, yep. Um, you have a good time? That's lab for yes, I think, so. You're good, right? Okay, so I forgot to get a thumbnail for my Joby Gorillapod video, which at this time I haven't posted yet. So I need to go back over to the location where I shot that video to take a thumbnail, and uh, I need to go do it. So let's head there. Okay, so we got the Joby thumbnail, and I'm just gonna walk around and uh, see how this Sony a7 III footage looks. Uh, hopefully it look, looks pretty good. And I also want to test the auto ISO. I'm going to go into some little bit of sunnier light. There's not a whole lot of sun today. See if it changes pretty fast. Hopefully it does. And then we're going to actually walk back into the shade. So hopefully it changes. I noticed on the intro clip of this video, it made me way too exposed. So hopefully it's doing well now. I don't really know what that was. But we got the Joby Gorillapod thumbnail. Now we probably need to get a thumbnail for this video. This is like thumbnail area. I mean, it looks pretty cool here. Okay, so it's like 519 now, and it's later in the day. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Actually using this new microphone, though it's a little bit windy, so hopefully the audio sounds completely crisp with the dead cat on it. But before I end this video, I do wanna talk about one kind of slight upside about the whole non-flip screen thing. Really, it's kind of something that you miss when you're using, specifically the Sony a7 III but you're not constantly looking over at that monitor. When there's that little screen or monitor or whatever on the side, you're looking at that. So you, let's say I'm looking at the monitor right now, I'm not looking at the camera. If I'm looking at you guys, it just, it feels more personal and interactive rather than me looking over here because you wanna make sure you're in frame, but there it does, does, it does kind of make a disconnect. So really it's also kind of good if you're not very good at keeping your eye on the lens, which I actually wasn't very good if you go watch out my other videos, especially with the Canon M50, I was always looking to the side. 
So I guess you could view that as kind of an upside to not having a flip screen if you're really trying to make that better. But I think this whole video, I was in frame and uh, I think everything on auto, it's doing really well. Like right now, I should be in focus. I haven't had any autofocus problems and I do plan to make one or two more videos about the Sony E7 III. I just wanted to film a vlog today and kind of take you through the uh, lower subscriber count YouTube life. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys found this video enjoyable at all, maybe consider going under this video and you'll see my channel icon. If you click that, it'll bring you to all my other videos and they're pretty interesting. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace out. Also, can we take a second to like view how high this camera is? We're up here in the tree and you guys are on this Joby Gorillapod. So it seems to be holding pretty well if we pull it this way, which is the way I'm concerned about. So uh, now it's kind of moving around, which is a little bit scary. But uh, this thing, doing well.